hello students in this video i am going to continue chapter 3 from your uh, book hornbill class 11th discovering that the saga continues in part 2 we discussed about king tut's mummy investigation by the egyptian supreme council of antiquities whom uh, mr jai hawas is leading and uh, we are uh, we were discussing about the hierarchical and the uh, different different kings of king uh, tut family now in this uh, way we are going to discuss further after akhenaten's death so king akhenaten first of all amenhotep either may be the father or grandfather of king tut thereafter akhenaten came another king who created a lot of turbulence in egypt thereafter Akhenaten after Akhenaten death a mysterious ruler named Ismen Khere appeared a very mysterious ru ruler uh, mysterious because uh, uh, he didn't last for his regime didn't last for too long and his impact in Egyptian uh, e Egyptian royal family was uh, very uh, uh, unimportant very less so another ruler came, came after uh, Akhenaten and uh, he and his name was um, Ismen Khere he appeared briefly he came for a very brief time and he he become uh, a king for a very brief time and exited with hardly a trace and exited means he he became ring, uh, king also and without knowing the reason that where he went without any trace without no, not knowing the reason that why he left the left his throne he exited also he left the throne also and then a very young tutankhaten took the throne and thereafter a very young aged tutankhaten took the throne he came on the throne king tut as is widely known today and to this uh, this king tutankhaten after ismen khare is uh, now widely known today by the name of king tut so he is tutankhaten after ismen khare he came into the existence and became the king of egypt okay and we know him uh, mostly by his name tut the boy king soon changed boy king means because he he he, he was enthroned in a very less age so just a boy in his boy age so the boy king soon changed his name to tutankhamun and this boy uh, uh, king he changed his name from tutankhaten to tutankhamun living image of amun that is uh, if you remember students in previous class i discussed uh, previous video i discussed that after amenhotep uh, third amenhotep four came and thereafter akhenaten came akhenaten actually he changed his name from uh, uh, he added his name in aten aten is the um, uh, son uh, lord son is called aten in egyptian language but before that uh, lord amun was uh, being uh, worshiped in egypt but uh, akhenaten changed everything in uh, egypt he he changed the capital also uh, from thebes to a uh, new city of akhenaten thereafter he he smashes the temples of king uh, god amun so he tried to reestablish the whole religious faith of egyptian people that's why his name is also tutankhaten that is aten means uh, god son but uh, tutankhaten uh, means king uh, tut was a religious person he he loves tradition that's why he changed his name from tutankhaten to tutankhamun that is amun means he again reestablished all the old values of egypt so a living image of amun and tutankhamun means living image of amun uh, means god amun and oversaw a restoration of the old days and he oversaw means he gathered a restoration means you can say regathering of all the old uh, ways means he regathered all the old ways means old ways of uh, egyptian um, life and pattern he reigned for about 9 years and he was king for about 9 years he ruled for 9 years and then died unexpectedly and then all of a sudden king tut died unexpectedly it was the hierarchical um, discussion okay that how he became king regardless of his fame and the speculations about his fate uh he was uh, king tut is uh, regardless uh, uh, you know that uh, um, not knowing much about his fame and uh, the speculation about his fate and uh, people uh, speculate about about his fate also tut is one mummy among many in egypt tut is one of the uh, mummies mis dead bodies among the egypt how many mis there are so many mummies in egypt but king tut was very lucky to be investigated first no one knows no one knows that how many mummies are there in egypt means there are numberless uh, countless mummies in egypt but he was the first to be investigated the egyptian mummy project there was a project started by the egyptian council 
so it is called Egyptian Mummy Project, which began an in inventory in late 2003. And this project is started, inventory means it began, okay, and they started making a list uh, in late 2013. They started making a list of such type of kings like King Tut who died in an early age and uh, their death was uh, a kind of doubt and suspect that they might have been murdered. This kind of list the Egyptian Council of uh, uh, Mummy Project started uh, um, preparing has recorded almost 600 so far. They recorded such type of 600 mummies uh, and is still counting and the con this counting is still continues till date. The next phase, in the next phase, first of all they identified the 600 mummies among, among uh, uh, which uh, King Tut mummy was the first one to be investigated. And the next phase is carrying, uh, after uh, identifying the mummies, in the next phase is carrying the mummies with the portable CT machine. They started uh, the process of uh, scanning the mummies, the portable CT machine, por uh, portable CT scan machine, actually computer tomography, CT scan machine. Portable means a um, kind of thing which you could carry from one place to other place easily. So portable CT scan machine, basically CT scan machines are not possible to carry from one place to other pl place. But this machine was portable, which they uh, carried easily to the cemetery and uh, they investigated the mummies. Donated by the National Geographic uh, Society and uh, Siemens. Siemens is a company name, it's a person name uh, by which the company runs. So by National Geographic Society and Siemens company, the CT scan machine was donated to the uh, Egyptian Mummy Project Council. And by which they, are, they started doing the... Uh, CT scan of its manufacturer. They are the manufacturer Siemens. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned, and uh, he was the uh, King Tut's mummy was the first mummy. Uh, there were many mummies were investigated, investigated, but it was one of the first. In death, in death also he was first, as in life and after. In death also means after death also his mummy was investigated first. So after that he was first also, as in life and as he was in life as he was living. He was first as well because king is the first person of the uh, kingdom as you know that president is the first person of the country similarly the king is the first person as a pratham bhakti hota hai pratham nagrik hota hai so he was first in life also he was first after death also to be investigated moving regally uh, moving uh, regally means he was living uh, he was a royal uh, uh, standard uh, regally means royal standard ahead of his countrymen means he was in life also uh, always uh, uh, ahead of the countryman means other common people of uh, Egypt because he was king so in life also he was first and after death also he was first. A CT machine is scanned the mummy head to toe. The CT scan machine is scanned his mummy from the head to toe creating 1700 digital x-ray is missed in cross section as the students you know you, you must be knowing that CT scan is a process in which uh, bread slices uh, size small x-rays are taken and that has been arranged on a plate same thing is happening almost 1700 digital x-ray by the CT scan machine from his head to toe were taken and arranged on a cross section on a on a plate Tut's head is scanned in uh, 0.62 millimeters as I told that uh, in CT scan very smaller area is uh, um, focused by the CT scan machine and thereafter the range is needs to be set so 6.62 uh, 0.62 millimeters area is set so on 0.62 millimeters area the rays uh, focus thereafter uh, they enlarge that portion into the into a, a piece of slice in, into a slice of bread and that was arranged on a, a CT scan uh, uh, plate by uh, and why this uh, so small area is being captured because uh, to get the intricate structures to the to get the complicated structures of the human body it takes uh, on eerie detail and they wanted a complete detail eerie detail complete detail in the resulting image and they wanted that the whatever the result they are getting after uh, CT scan that must create all the doubt uh, so that that must that must clear all the doubt with Tut's entire body similarly recorded and in the similar process Tut's whole body not only the head portion from head to toe every body organ has recorded with the same uh, uh, with the same detail as 0.62 millimeters a team of specialists in radiology and who were doing the CT scan process a specialist team who are in radiology means who they were uh, quite expert in radioactive rays by which the uh, X-ray and CT scan process is done. Forensics who they are expert in uh, diagnosis forensics 
and anatomy and the persons who were very well known about the human body anatomy began to probe the secrets they started searching investigating the secrets that the winged goddess of a gilded burial shrine protected for so long which is expected that how this dead body has been protected protected so uh, nicely from last 3300 years uh, 300 years ago uh, it is expected that in egypt there is a goddess is worshiped uh, who, who is expected to uh, the goddess would have been expected to have wings so that is called wing goddess miss punk ke sath devi like uh, fairy you can say of gilded burial shrine uh, gilded means shining the burial shrine means the burial place uh, and shrine is a kind of pious place because the churchyard is a very pious place whenever we are in, in our life we commit uh, so much sin but after death our body becomes quite pure and that uh, churchyard that uh, cremating place where body is being uh, uh, burned uh, is being uh, is being put for burning or either it is it it it, it, it is uh, dug inside the ground and put put in that uh, buried that place is called shrine means now the uh, here the author says that the team of radiologist forensics and anatomy professor is started investigating this thing uh, which they uh, expect that the dead body which was protected by the wind god for so long years otherwise it was not possible to investigate even because after 3300 years ago uh, mummy will not remain even in the earth everything will be over the night of the scan and while the scanning was uh, happening it is started from day but it become night workmen carried dirt from the tomb the process is being happening that how the you know, ct scan process is going to take place workmen carried the uh, miss the workmen uh, the servants you can say they carried the king tut's body from the tomb is from his burial place in his box in the box like pall bearers and they were carrying like uh, carrying his uh, his coffin like a pall bearers pall bearers of that uh, palanquin bearers okay palki jo hota hai usko kaha raha that is uh, they climbed a ramp they climbed a ramp ramp is a kind of his stairs stair Uh, on on so many railway stations and on metro stations or uh, on uh, uh, airports you can you can find ramp so ramp is a kind of uh, uh, you can find this in, in a hospital also it's a plain uh, you can say stair uh, where you can you can't find any kind of steps uh, which is used to take uh, in hospitals which is used to take the you know, patient on a stretcher and uh, in at uh, platforms and others which is which is used by the uh, disabled person for the handicapped person that is called ramp so they took the palvirus the palvirus took the uh, took that uh, coffin on the ramp and a flight of stairs after ramp there was a flight of stairs means uh, you can say uh, a few steps of stairs into the swirling sand outside and outside the sand was swirling means moving round and round because too much fast air was moving then rose on a hydraulic lift and thereafter uh, that dead body was kept with his coffin with his coffin and hydraulic lift uh, means uh, hydraulic is a kind of uh, device which lifts automatically so hydraulic lift into the trailer and thereafter it went into the trailer trailer is a truck type of structure that held the scanner and in that uh, truck the city scanner machine was there 20 minutes later two men emerged while the city scan process started 20 minutes after two men came sprinted for an office nearby and they ran for an office nearby why and returned with a pair of white plastic fans and while they returned they, they were having with a pair of white plastic fans because the million dollar scanner because so costly city scanner had quite has stopped working quit started working because of sand in a cooler fan because so much strong wear was moving and so much sand entered into the city scan machine that's why machine stopped working curse of the pharaoh jogged a god and uh, god nervously गार्ड uh, uh, नर्वसली जो uh, कि ये जो मशीन है इसलिए uh, काम करना बंद कर गया क्योंकि ये फैरो का मतलब गॉड का इस पर अभिशाप लगा है ही ही जोक एक्चुअली ही वॉज नॉट सीरियस अबाउट दिस इवेंचुअली द सब्स्यूट फैंड्स वर्क वेल इनफ टू फिनिश द प्रोसीड्यूर एक्चुअली द टू वाइट प्लास्टिक फैंड्स विच आर ब्रॉड बाई द वर्कमैन फाइनली वर्क वेल एंड दे फिनिश द दे वर्क सो वेल दैट द प्रोसीजर ऑफ सिटीज कैन वॉज फिनिश्ड after checking that no data has been lost and after they check properly that no data has been lost why why they check that no data has been lost where the chance of data lost has been created while the ct scan machine was working and it stopped all of sudden means the machine closed 
all of a sudden automatically they thought that whatever the CT scan they did for last 20 minutes perhaps they lost all the data but while they restarted the computer or uh, CT scan machine they found that no data had been lost the technician turned uh, turned over to the workman now the technician uh, turned the uh, to that uh, workman means uh, after taking uh, after doing the CT scan process the technician now handed over the dead body of King Tut to the workman who carried him back to his tomb who again returned uh, his dead body he took um, they took to the dead body of King Tut again to his tomb means to his burial place less than three hours after he was removed from his coffin and in less than three hours duration uh, after removing from his coffin uh, the pharaoh again rested in peace again pharaoh was rested in peace means his body was again kept there where the funerary priest where the uh, at the time of uh, funeral ceremony the priests had led him so long ago where the priest had led him means uh, so long ago uh, that is 3300 years back back in the trailer and now we are returning to the trailer okay where the cities can process happened trailer means truck kind of truck device uh, back in the trailer a technician pulled up astonishing image of that on a computer screen the technician now is uh, whatever the image uh, CT scan image has been taken the technician is now uh, watching and moving those all the figures uh, uh, in different different directions and trying to see and he found a very surprising um, image in his uh, CT scan one of his CT scan a gray head took shape from scattering of pixels he gray head means gray color head because in uh, in a CT scan machine can't be a very virtual kind of head so a gray colored head means small pixels pixels is called uh, small parts of CT scan so small parts of CT scan he gathered together with he and he means uh, for example you could you could understand ki jo pura jo head portion hai iska uska CT scan chote chote parts mein liya gaya aur fir usne wo chote chote parts jisko pixels bolte hain usko ikattha karke aur skull ka structure diya khopdi ka structure diya and the technician spun and thereafter the technician is one moved and tilted and uh, changed it it in every direction moved in it in every direction neck vertebrae neck bone vertebrae means bone appeared as clearly as in anatomy class means he was quite surprised to notice that uh, the CT scan process was done so well that even the neck bone of uh, King Tut was appearing as clearly as in anatomy class means it was not looking a picture it was looking just a real bone so clear picture was taken other image revealed and he also uh, gathered other pixels and created other images also on the screen like hand several views of ribcage he also gathered the ribcage pixels and created the uh, ribcage uh, image and a transaction of the skull and a part of the skull first he gathered the whole skull thereafter he cut the skull uh, with the um, technology and that is the transaction of his skull but for now the pressure was off but till now the pressure was off uh, from Jai Havas Sitting back in his chair, Jai Havas smiled. Now Jai Havas was the Supreme Council, the Secretary of Supreme Council of Antiquities of Egypt, under whom this project was going on. Okay, sitting in his chair, uh, he was smiling now, visibly relieved, looking very, very uh, relaxed. That nothing had gone seriously wrong, because nothing had gone seriously wrong. Means they thought, they investigated King Tut's dead body, because they thought that he was murdered, and something wrong would have happened uh, with him at the time of his death. But nothing wrong was happened. I didn't sleep last night. Jai was told, not for a second. He told that I didn't sleep last night, even not for a second. He said, I was so worried. I was so stressed. But now I think I will go and sleep now. But he says that now the work is complete. Uh, my work has been completed and I will have a rest today. By the time we left the trailer, now author, author is also the member of this uh, team, okay, scanning team, because he also worked with the National Geographic channel, that's why. By the time we left the trailer, author said that by the time we left the trailer machine, where the uh, CT scan machine was set, uh, settled and trailer truck, descending metal stairs and now descending the metal stairs to the sandy ground and came to the sandy ground, the wind had stopped, the wind had completely stopped, the winter air lay cold, the, because it was winter season, so air has, uh, strong air has, created cold everywhere and still and, and it was looking absolutely still no sound nothing like death itself is what appearing that everything is uh, has been died here in this valley of the departed because this was the valley of also departed means this, they were in the churchyard they were in a, in a burial place so as in the burial place uh, already becomes uh, so much silence today it was looking uh, even more silence just above the entrance to Tut's tomb stood Orion 
he said that just above the entrance of the Tut's tomb, where the Tut's dead body was buried in the ground, just at his entrance means to at his uh, leg portion into the sky means at his leg portion similar uh, just at the parallel to his leg uh, into the sky they could saw they could saw orion orion is a kind of uh, a star you know okay uh, so he they saw orion the con uh, the constellation that the ancient egyptian knew as the soul of uh, osiris actually orion is a kind of group of stars okay which is called subtracy you know okay so it's a kind of constellation uh, akash ganga that is called so they saw that in constellation uh, that the ancient egyptians knew as according to ancient egyptian uh, view and uh, religious trust they believed that uh, this orion was visible near the uh, dead bodies uh, near the churchyard or burial place uh, it was not the orion actually it was a soul of osiris osiris is actually the god of after death the god of the afterlife means osiris according to Egyptians uh, is the god after life as we say Yamraj. So similarly Osiris in Egypt actually watching over the boy king and perhaps he was watching over the boy king means he was uh, observing King Tut's dead body. Thank you students.